supply chain management. Let's take a simple product, like a pack of chips. We need to bake the potato chips, a plastic packaging, and a label. Right. Buying it from the store might cost you about $3. How much do you think it's profit? Wrong, wrong, and wrong. Chips, a plastic packaging, and label will cost more than $1. And if you buy them in bulk, how could each pack of chips not give you at least $2 in profit? You might as well just start your own business selling chips. That's correct. This right here illustrates the common consumer misconceptions. Product cost is not equal to material cost. And in business, you don't have the luxury of thinking only as a consumer. You need to think as a business executive or better yet, as an entrepreneur. So, in order to figure out where did all the profit went, we need to imagine what it took for that chips to get into your hand. For example, let's take Walmart. But before that, let's go into Walmart's background. The person who is behind the establishment of Walmart is Sam Walton. The first branch he had opened was back in 1962. Over the years, Walmart has grown to be the largest retailing company in the world. They have more than 2,907 stores in all major countries across the world at the moment. So where were we? How supply chain management in Walmart works. Oh yeah! Using the chip again as an example, first, Walmart needs to negotiate the purchase of the plastic packaging. Those packaging is much easier to transfer in boxes. They need to shrink wrap those boxes so they won't fall out of the box. The whole box can be moved quickly if they are put on stacks. In order to move the stacks, Walmart uses forklift. That forklift will then take the stacks of boxes and put it into the truck. And the driver will take away the packages. Also, Walmart will need a label for that pack of chips. Therefore, they need to design the label, print the label, and get the label shipped to the plant. In the manufacturing plant, the employees in the plant will handle on the labeling and packaging the product, which are the chips. At the manufacturing plant, there are machines that will bake the potatoes and other machines will handle the packaging and fix the label to the packaging. And still, another set of machines will box and wrap the pack of chips. In order to move those stack of boxes, they use another forklift. That forklift will take the stacks of boxes and put it in the truck and head to the distribution center. And from the distribution center, they will head to Walmart retail store by truck. Then, the retail employees will unload the truck and stock the pack of chips on the shelf. If Walmart wants to secure the pack of chips, they will need a security system. So, through that simple example of super simple product, you begin to see that there are a lot of process happening when they buy things, make things, move things, sell things, and service things, which includes customer care. Therefore, this change of process are called supply chain management. With minimal effort and minimal cost, this system gives a huge advantage for the company to be more efficient and effective. That's right, and the supply chain manager in Walmart helped to provide the customers the product they want, when they want it, and how often they want it at a reasonable price while still managing to increase their profit margin. So what kind of technology does Walmart use in order to enhance their productivity and level of efficiency? Well, do you know that Walmart uses RFID tags to get the immediate information related to products that are off the shelf and the current status of the specific product inventory? No? Well, this technology helps to track the information of products in Walmart. For example, the RFID sensors are placed onto jeans. Workers scan the jeans with the electronic reader and build a database detailing all the sizes available. This helps the employees to keep a track of what is in the stock and which has been sold out. Therefore, this information will be uploaded in the database and the supplier can have access to the information, which saves time and money. In conclusion, 
We can say that the supply chain management system is essential in an organization. With the successful implementation of the system, it helps Walmart to get the right information at the right time, from structuring the network to processing everyday supply chain. Walmart has grown to be what it is now and be able to tackle 200 million customers per week.